Welcome back to the catch up here on Chris Cyborg's YouTube channel. I am James Lynch. Happy to be joined by Leah McCord, who's going to be back in action. Bellator 300 against Sarah McMahon. Leah, how are you? I'm good. You've got me in between training sessions, so that's why I look like this. <laughs> No, it's great. Well, I appreciate you uh, taking the time. And let's start there first. You're part of this historic card for Bellator 300. How excited were you when you found out you'd be part of this event? Yeah, because I uh, originally thought I was going to be on Bellator Dublin, but then I heard I would be on Bellator 300. So it's definitely, definitely excited to be back in America um, in San Diego. Such a massive card and big opportunity. So very excited, yeah. Obviously, uh, last fight didn't go the way you wanted against Kat Zingano. What did you learn the most about that fight that you're bringing into this matchup? Um, I definitely got confidence from that. You know, I think there was a lot of dominant positions I was in. If I had to be more patient, I could have, you know, ended the fight. There was some finishing positions. But I think, you know, stylistically, this is a good matchup for me. And I will definitely bring in what I learned from the last fight into this fight against Sarah. And, and what do you think about Kat now fighting Chris? Obviously, it's a really exciting matchup in your division. How do you see that fight playing out? And keep keep the biases aside here. I, I'm curious to get your thoughts on the fight. <laughs> uh, obviously, you know, it was... It was a bit disappointing because a lot of people thought I'd won that fight against Kat, um, against Kat. And so, you know, to be on the same card as them gives me like a bit of, bit of motivation. I know, you know, I, I beat Sarah. I'll be fighting the winner of that fight as well. Kat's extremely tough. I know Cyborg's, you know, she's such a dominant champion, but Kat hasn't been, you know, stopped in a long time. I, um, as a fan, I, can't, I actually can't wait for that fight. I'm excited. I don't like to say who I think, but I, mm, I don't know. It's a five-round fight. It, it, going to be tough to um to not get a finish in that fight i, I think it'll not end the decision chris is the favorite though do you think that's the correct uh you know betting line there do you think chris deserves to be the favorite in that fight yeah i think so she's been so dominant in all her performances so far in battle tour no one's really you know give her that much of a challenge i think stylistically it's like it's going to be a striker versus grappler i think Kat will be coming to try and wrestle and I work showing she's got such strong takedown defense and aggression when it comes to you know stuff and takedowns and, and, and getting back to striking. So I think yeah, she should be favorite. Um, how excited were you to get to fight Sarah McMahon? Obviously, another big name in the division, uh, someone that's really well known. Just tell me your excitement level of getting this matchup. Yeah, yeah, that's the type of fights I want. They want the, you know, the big names, the, the, the yeah, top girls, and, and lots of experience. I think that. You know, I've proven that I deserve to be up there and I've got the um, potential to go all the way. So having tough tests like Sarah, like Kat, you know, on the way to the title fight is what I need to uh, develop and get better and, and get confidence in myself. Obviously, Sarah's known for her wrestling. How do you look at your fight with Sarah stylistically? How do you feel like you match up against her? Yeah, so I think stylistically against Sarah, it's a, it's a better matchup for me against, than against Kat. I think Kat was quite dangerous because she didn't just have wrestling. She loved... She, had, she was quite creative, a lot of different uh, sweeps, and she, she was a bit unpredictable. I think Sarah is, um, you know, she's more like a street wrestler. She's very strong, and, you know, shooting that inside single, she hitting the double body lock. I think that's the, you know, what she's going to try and do in this fight. And I think, you know, obviously coming from my background in judo and, and training with rest, have good wrestlers all the time, I, I'm, I'm confident. We talked about uh, the fact that you're outside the gym right now. How is training camp going, and who have been some of your main training partners? Yeah, I'm back in Liverpool. This is where my third my third camp in Liverpool in Next Generation. So we've got an amazing team here. Um, really good training partners. A lot of the guys are coming up um, in cage warriors and different promotions. So um, all really high level, high level strikers, wrestlers. Obviously Molly is here. She's in the gym. Um, she's in Thailand at the minute, but she's one of my best friends. She's um, here all the time. And just you know, great, great, great guys that are bringing, bringing my game on as well. Excellent. And, and do you know when you'll be heading out to San Diego, uh, like your itinerary? Do you know when you'll be heading out? Uh, I think I'm heading out about the 28th, just to get used to the jet lag, because it's going to be too long flights to get there. Um, and obviously the water retention and just getting used to the time zone and, and training at that kind of time, because it is such a difference, training obviously in Ireland and the, and the time difference uh, can you know affect you. So I definitely like to get out a bit early and, and get used to it and climatise. And what about your corner? Who will be making the trip out there with you? Um, so Molly, my head coach, is Paul Rimmer and Ellis Hampton. And then I'll have my um, team to come out, some of my training partners uh, and friends. They'll be able to support me as well. Excellent. And how do you predict the fight will play out? How do you see it going down on October 7th? 
Um, I think, you know, she's got, definitely going to come and try and wrestle. I think my um, strike has improved a lot. I don't think she likes getting hit. I think um, that may play a factor into her, her wrestling quite early or clinching quite early. I think it could be a, a, a back and forth kind of grappling um, grindy fight, but you know I haven't learned a lot from the cat fight. I think it was a good fight to have, you know, to, 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 before a fight like Sarah McMahon, who is such a dominant wrestler, to get used to that kind of pace and tempo. And you know, it's a lot like physic, more physically demanding when you're in that type of fight than, than just striking. So um, I do see myself coming away with a win, whether it's stoppage or submission. If all goes well and, and you win this fight and Chris wins yeah. her next fight, how do you look at a fight with you and Chris stylistically? Yeah, I think, you know, Chris is a enormous task for anybody. And I think, I, you know, I believe that it's my destiny to be a world champion. I, I would love to do that fight in Belfast in February. And um, with the correct work and, and uh, training and, and game plan, you know, um, it's definitely going to be a great fight. How do you deal with all the rumors out there about the Bellator sale and all that? Is it distracting at all? Or how do you sort of, uh, you know, put your mind out of that? Because you can't control it, right? Yeah, I can't. It's definitely something I can't control or even think about. It's nothing, to, nothing I can, you know, can impact. So I definitely am just focusing on my fight. I've got a huge fight, a huge opportunity to, 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 um, to what's the words? Finally fight for the title. You know, like I've got a massive yeah. test against Sarah McMahon. And I just have to be 100% focused. It's just no easy, easy fight. Um, it's extremely, you know, it is. It can be a bit daunting that like we don't know what's happening after this fight or what's happening in the future. But all I can focus on is the fight, my next fight. And I'm, I'm just relieved that I have a fight and I've got a, a date to look forward to because that's all I ever need. <laughs> yeah, no, it's great to have that lined up. Uh, last question before we get out of here. How is it balancing everything, you know, being a mom, uh, you know, training? I'm sure you got to need time for yourself as well, too. Well, how, how do you sort of balance it all? I don't balance anything. I'm <laughs> training or I'm on a flight back to Belfast or I'm Dude, it's not it's definitely not um easy it's like but i do think it's you know i'm only doing this for a short period of time i have to just put everything into achieving my goals and, and my training and, and preparation for every fight and i have to give 100 percent because i've got you know me it's an opportunity for people to dream of so i have to just suck it up and keep going and making time for interviews leah i really appreciate it if there's uh, anyone you want to thank before we get out of here any sponsors or any social media you want to mention i'll give you the last word Yep, just shout out to my two main sponsors, Everlast and Monster. Where's it there? <laughs> yeah.